Jesus says, How beautiful is the soul that has cast the world aside. May 17, 2017 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, Claire, there is never a moment I am away from your side. You are the one who drifts from me not I from you. There is too much busy work in your home. You need to run it like a cloister, or you will never go where I want to take you. Less involvement with the world, my precious, less and less and less. You know how I feel about Julie True's song, Child of God. I felt like I was a stranger to you, and I felt fleeting pains of jealousy, that she was so close to you and I'm so far away. And of course the liars jumped right on it and said, your voice will never sound that good, let alone your relationship with God. However, when that happens, I immediately rebuke a spirit of jealousy and lying and tell the Lord I don't want it, and it goes away. The Lord said He would provoke the Jewish people to jealousy by our devotion to Him. So it's not beyond the realm of possibility that the Lord really allowed this to happen, to wake me up a bit. So I told Him I felt like I'd lost my connection with Him and felt like a stranger to him. Jesus answered, I know, and it's ridiculous. She has put her time in to get closer to me, and that's what is bothering you more than her voice. You knew that, didn't you? Yes, Lord, I did. I sensed I was missing something that I once had that was much deeper than what I have now. Well, my love, you know I'm no discriminator of persons. I have a great depth for each one of my brides, but most never even approach it, let alone rest in it. You have been there many, many times, but your involvement with the house is distracting you. But now it is enough. That's exactly my sentiment. Enough is enough. And at this point it's way too much. You will find great joy in my arms, Claire. Alone with me is all you'll ever need. How surprised I am that you do not avail yourself of that every moment of the day. If you would begin to practice that, Seeing yourself held securely in my arms, you will see a change in your attitude from moment to moment, and you will go deeper with me, much deeper. You will find more time to savor my presence and in that be transformed, going deeper into my love and heavenly provision for your spirit. The secret is to break away most, including yourself, look forward to our times together as a sort of dessert after the main course of your duties every day. May I say you have it backwards? Your time with me is the main course and the duties are on the periphery. This is the only way you will attain to that depth you are hungering for, my love. Break away, break away, continually throughout the day. Come to rest in my arms, even when things are getting more and more hectic. But Lord, how do I do that? When things get like that, I begin to stress and push it to get it done and out of the way. That's what I'm addressing right now. I am the main meal. Those other things are simply appetizers, unappetizing as they are to you. 
They are like the condiments on the table. But in my arms is where you will find your life and nourishment. Lose your life in the world to find mine in heaven. Forsake your interest in your plans, that's one reason why I asked you to leave off with them. You don't realize how much you are attached to them. I'm trying to break that attachment. Well, I recognize what he's saying here. First thing in the morning, I tend to get pulled into my plans before my eyes are even open. They are like children to me. The world and its activities are never ending, Claire. That's what you don't realize. They are forever pulling you off course. Practice ignoring them. Seriously, you have a volunteer who waters for you. Bless your plans and then put them out of your mind. I have much better things for you to use your time for. If you find you cannot ignore them, give them away. They are used to tempt you. I'll ignore them, Lord. Case in point, you see how attached you are? Lord, I often think I would be happier in a much simpler environment, and I really have sought him about this, guys. Practice simplicity in this environment, that's the challenge. Oh, my beloved, I ache for you as you ache for me. There is not a moment of the day that I don't long to see one sweet glance of your eyes. Really, Lord? Really and truly, my heart soars when you look at me with such longing. I hate to see confusion and stress tearing you away from me. And this is the case with all of you, my brides. How I long to see your searching eyes as they come in contact with me, as you are looking for my presence. I want to mention here, for those of you who do not easily see the Lord, envision him as he was the last time you saw him, or envision him in your favorite image of Jesus, in a favorite place, beside a stream or on a park bench, whatever. Allow him to come into that space in your heart and mind and meet you there. It begins with envisioning him, and from there he makes it a real event. This is the beauty of the eternal relationship we have. It exists outside the boundaries of space and time. It truly is eternal. Though your days are filled with time-consuming work, your relationship with me is not subject to these same laws. This is why you can find me at any moment by your side, drinking in the vision of the longing expression in your eyes and on your heart and mind. And my response is ever the same. So what's keeping you from me in this moment? Is it that important? Today you got to the point where nothing was as important as seeking and finding me. And I was there for you. Yes, I certainly did. When I got the church at Ephesus, return to your first love, that cut me so deeply, I told everyone I'm going into prayer and I'm not going to come out anytime soon. And I came out a couple of hours later, when everyone was gone. I sent that Rima to you because I missed you, Claire. I knew how you would take it. I knew you would immediately repent 
and seek my face, and you did not disappoint me. I did not mean the harsh threat for you, dearest. I just wanted to call your attention to the fact that you were lapsing into more and more involvement with the world. Again, and we both know what that eventually leads to. Yes, the panther comes forth from its lair. So here we are now, together, and my heart rejoices in your longing for me, and oh, how I wish to satisfy that. But as long as we dwell on the earth together, there will be barriers to that. Although, as you long ever more for me, I will not disappoint you. There will be special graces that seem as though you are no longer on this earth because of your preoccupation with me. Yes, my delightful brides become so entwined and wrapped up in me that you forget what you're doing, what you came into a room for, what you were going to do next. Yes, yes! I want to be your one and only distraction. You know what it feels like to fall in love and long for your beloved. This is indeed how I long for you, but so few long for me with that same intensity. Long for me, be distracted by me, be pulled away by me, become forgetful of all around you by me. This is the kind of love I ache to have from my brides. As the saying goes, be so heavenly minded that you are no earthly good. Yes, yes, I know, your jobs, your duties, yes, they must be done. But remember back to a time when you had first fallen in love, your very first love. All you could do was long for that hour to come where the two of you would be together. This is the kind of love I long for from you. Oh, how beautiful the soul is that has cast aside the world to have this with me. How perfectly their longing shall be rewarded, for there is not enough heaven on earth to give to such a one as this. Pray for this grace, my blessed ones, pray much for this grace and practice searching me out with your spiritual eyes every moment of the day. And when our hearts touch, do your best to go away into a place of quietness and pray, where we can dwell together and you can be regenerated and I can be consoled by your love.